Hey guys, so I got a request about doing an enter to benchmark test here with the Galaxy A5, the Alpha, the S5 Mini, and the Galaxy A4. So, this could be some fun dual core processor, 1.4 GHz quad core, A7, octa core processor in the Alpha, uh, 1.8 GHz, I think Core 15, and uh, A7. And then I think it's. Uh, Four cores, Cortex A53. So, just for fun, do this test. As I said, I got a request, so why not have some fun? Bam, 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 bam. I'm just gonna go and pick up my Galaxy Note 4 and look at it a little bit while this test is uh, running. Uh, so, um, yeah, the Galaxy Alpha, or I mean, the Galaxy A5, my first phone here for 2000 and the uh, 15, pretty nice phone. Let's see here how this is going. 18% on all, okay, that's cool. So I also did another video, it's an overall video where I went over all the differences like camera, processor, CPU and stuff like that, a little bit, talking a little bit more about that. You can check that out if you want. Uh, the Galaxy S6 and the HTC M9 and like Sony Xperia Z4, I mean, or and also the LG G4, I mean, they all are coming this year, 2015. I mean, new high-end phones, that's going to be awesome. Like... Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see here. I mean, I'm testing a lot of Sami Galaxy devices, but it's gonna be interesting to see if the Galaxy S6 is gonna have a metal and like glass body, uh, as we've been hearing rumors about, and I also did a video on it yesterday. That's gonna be interesting. I really do hope that they don't mess up the Galaxy S6 with glass, because that could be, what can I say? That could be pretty boring. Like the Sony Z3, glass, I mean, the phone moves around. Nexus 6 is also an annoying phone, moves around on the table. The same with iPhone 4S and the iPhone 4. So really do hope that they don't mess up that phone. But we will know in um, in uh, Barcelona, uh, March the 2nd, 2015, on the Mobile World, uh, Mobile World Congress. The biggest like phone event for this year. See what's going to happen. Yeah. Hopefully something interesting. We like interesting stuff, don't we? <laughs> so you can see 55%, 61, 63. These three phones, 720p display, so this one might be quicker because that's 800 times 480 resolution display. That could be why. Interesting how the two that I like the most seems to be the slowest here to start off this test. It looks pretty cool though when you're doing videos like this. What is going on with the A5? Don't be so slow on me. And I don't have anything open in the background as well. Wow, the A5 is a slow boy here. I mean, you think that's Snapdragon 410, that could be one of the major downsides of the Galaxy A5. As you can see in this video. It's probably not gonna get super impressive score. So the Galaxy A4 is finished up here, and also the um, so the Galaxy A4 got twenty one thousand five hundred sixty nine. Interesting there how the uh, it got kind of the same score as the S5 Mini. Kind of feels like the S5 Mini should be way quicker with its Cortex A7. What is going on with the Galaxy A5? Uh, the Galaxy Alpha here got 50,387. 
Wow. That's weird, man, how slow the A5 is. How can this boy be quicker than this boy? This one has a dual core. This one should have a quad core. It's weird, man. It's weird. I mean, the Galaxy A5, that could be the major, like, thing where they make where to make their profit. Slowing down the CPU there a little bit. Is it even going to pass this test? Is it stuck? That's weird. <laughs> I mean, what can I do? What can I do? So I'm just gonna wait a little bit more here. I mean, I can't do this video forever. That's weird, man. But then again, remember, it's just a test. I might have to do some more testing though. Because this could mean that it's something wrong with the device. And we don't like that. Nobody likes that. So I'm just going to let it go for 60 more seconds. It, it seems to be messing up here when it's trying to test the multitask performance. So that's a little bit weird. I mean, multitasking is a big thing in phones. So maybe it's really, really bad at multitasking. Because even though the Ace 4 should have a dual core processor, it seems like it's a really, really powerful dual core. That is pretty interesting. <gasps> we have this. Oh, yeah. It's stuck. Uh, I'm gonna run it for 50 more seconds because I'm having the time here. So it looks like it failed. That's, that's interesting. I mean, as you can see, it's only this app up and running. Wow. So you can leave your feedback down below what you think about this. That is so weird. Why did that happen? I wonder if we can... Am I gonna do this again? I mean, I might cut this video off right now. Or maybe I'll fast forward this. I can probably fast forward. Or maybe I don't fast forward this fast forward this video. Maybe I just check them out in other places. It's kind of interesting here how this one is a little bit thicker. The S5 Mini, I mean, it's a nice device, but it feels a little bit like it feels so cheap. I don't like cheap phone feelings with this like soap feeling on the back. It's really bad, I think. Uh, the back buttons also feel so plasticky on this device. Even the brand new Galaxy Ace 4 here is performing well. Oops. <laughs> I know people don't like when I do it like that with phones, but this one is a little bit more harder. Back, I like it. It's a cool back. So, see here, testing RAM performance. That's called notes. Testing RAM speed. You see, it's, it got stuck up uh, at 55% um, the last time. Is it going to do that again? Then that's going to be weird, man. Okay, let's see here. Is it going to be stuck? Or 
will it pass that multitasking performance this time around? I don't know, man. <gasps> it passed. Wow, that's nice. Okay, so that's good news. But I still want to show that that it didn't pass the first time because that was a little bit weird, I have to say. If you can't remember, the score 21,000 here. Not now. So 21,569, the ace4 actually scores higher than that one. Why was that the case? That's a good question, man. Oh, this one also has Snapdragon 410. <gasps> this one also has, wow, the ace4 actually has, the ace4 actually has the same CPU and render as the A5. That's really interesting. That is really interesting. But this one is not packaged in the same way. I mean, this phone feels so much cheaper. And it also has a 5 megapixel. No, it only has one. The rear camera, yeah. The front facing camera here is 5 megapixel, but this one only has a normal. But that's interesting, man. The Galaxy A5. Hmm. You learn something new every day. So I'm pretty sure the uh, the phone's gonna dominate here is going to be this one. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. So all of these gets let's see here if we can go back. Not now. So twenty one two hundred and sixty twenty one two okay, so S5 mini loses here. Huh. Uh and then we do have this one on third place. And then we do have the ace four at uh, at the um, at the second place. Actually, that's interesting. <laughs> and the Galaxy Alpha uh, on first place. So that's very, very interesting. That's very, very interesting that these scores the same. I didn't even know about that, but that's that's, that's interesting, interesting stuff, man. Uh, you learn something new every day. <laughs> have an awesome day.